how do you advertise yourself as an online teacher? This is a question that I get asked so many times and just recently it was actually asked in our Facebook group. So today I'm gonna to answer that question. Where do you even find students? You're an online teacher, you're independent, you're trying to find students for your classes. Where are they? How do you find them? Welcome to my channel. I am Jillian Shanahan, the creator of Independent Teacher Academy. And on this channel, we talk about how you can accelerate your own online teaching business. If you are not already subscribed, make sure you click subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. Here you're going to find lots of videos that talk about marketing your online teaching business, as well as other companies or marketplaces that you can apply to work for. If you're teaching online, either with a marketplace or independently, at some point in time, you've probably looked at your schedule and thought, how do I bulk up my schedule? Where can I find more students? How can I make more money? And if that's you, make sure you watch this whole video because this video is for you. The best way to do this is through your own grit and determination. You have the skills, you have the ability to do it. You just have to tap into it. A lot of people grow their businesses through student referrals. And yes, you can ask for referrals from your students. But there's a problem with this method because if you're starting out, you might not have any students. And the fact is, is that what your students do is not completely under your control. It's not fully under your control. You can always use incentives to boost your referral rates. So for example, you might say, if you refer this many students, you get this much off of your package or a free lesson or something. But I feel that that should be an incentive that you add on to your marketing structure. That shouldn't be your entire marketing technique. At the end of the day, the best thing that you could do is take it into your own hands and create your own success by doing your own advertisement and having your own marketing plan, even if you're already getting referrals. So when you're thinking about where you're going to market and how you're going to create your marketing plan, the first thing that you need to do is ask yourself, who do I want to teach and where are they? So where are my potential students located? And what social media are they using? Where can I find them on the interwebs? If you're teaching business professionals in the US, it's going to be a completely different platform than if you're teaching busy parents in South Korea. They're going to be using two completely different social media platforms. So it's important to identify who you're trying to reach and then you can figure out how you'll reach them. Let me know in the comments, where are your ideal students? Where are the students that you want to teach? and what social media platforms do you think they're using? Okay, so we are going to start with China. And I wanted to start with China because a lot of teachers are familiar with the Chinese market. They're familiar with teaching uh, Chinese students. And um, you know, that's what you probably started with. If you started with like VIP Kid or Palefish, that's what you're comfortable with. And that's what you know and love. In China, they typically use two main social media platforms that I'm going to talk about today. And those are WeChat and Xiao Hong Shou. Xiao Hong Shu. <laughs> Xiao Hong Shu. <laughs> WeChat, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like WhatsApp. It's kind of like Facebook, but it's not really like either of them. It's completely different. WeChat is a messaging app and there, there's so much more to it than we use any of our social media platforms for. In China, they use WeChat from everything, from posting status updates to paying the bill at the restaurant that they're eating at using WeChat Pay. On WeChat, you can create groups and invite potential or your current students to them, or you can be added to groups. But you have to remember, these are all private groups. It isn't quite like Facebook where you can just search for, say you're raising Idaho pasture pigs. Guilty. You can't just search for a group that raises Idaho pasture pigs like you can on Facebook. You actually would have to be invited to one. I love to use WeChat for organic referrals, so it's still part of my referral marketing. Um, but these are organic referrals, so I'm not paying. I'm not giving anything for free. I'm not paying. Uh, parents will join the group or potential students will join the group and then boom, they get value and they start inviting other potential students into the group. And the next thing you know, you have a full group of 500 people in it, and then you have to open up a second group and a third group and a fourth group. The other social media platform in China that you should be on is Xiaohangshu, or you may have heard this by the name Little Red Book. 
So Little Red Book is pretty much like Instagram. And you can use hashtag strategies, post videos and pictures. You can message friends just like on Instagram. I have personally had massive success using WeChat, but I haven't really personally used Xiao Hong Shu. However, my teacher, coach, friend, Katie Prescott, she is the owner of Abridge Academy Curriculum. She is a whiz at Xiao Hong Shu. If you are looking to increase your bookings using an Instagram like strategy on Chinese social media, I would go ahead and join this Facebook group right here. I'll post the link in the description box as well as links to everything else, all the other resources that I list in this video. These are the two that are the most accessible to everyone and they're also the most user friendly to non-Chinese speakers. So if you don't speak Chinese, a lot of the other apps are um, they're really time consuming and they're more difficult to use. Those two give you a good starting point. If you do start marketing in China, you may want to consider invoicing through WeChat Pay. I have a whole tutorial in this video, which I encourage you to check out if you aren't sure how to do it. Again, WeChat Pay is the method of payment that they're most comfortable and familiar with. Now I want you to realize, regardless of what you are used to and you know where your mind automatically goes, China is not the only place that you can teach in and English isn't the only subject that you can teach. Online learning is booming. Are you coming up here to help? And it's only going to continue to grow. So it's actually one of the fastest growing industries, if not the fastest growing industries that's out there. So it's a good place to be. You've got a lot, there are a lot of different things that you can teach. So let's take a look at America. Most of you are probably American, right? Let me know in the comments where you're from. If you're watching this video, where are you from? And you might be thinking like, hey, America doesn't have the market for this. But if you are thinking that you are wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want you to take a look at the company OutSchool. So OutSchool started as a platform for homeschooling parents to be able to find uh, lessons for their kids to supplement whatever homeschool, whatever homeschooling they were doing. And they have been super successful with this. So they have expanded to other countries, but to date they have over a million learners. And they started this by marketing in North America to homeschooling parents. If you want to know more about OutSchool and you're interested in working with them, they do hire new teachers and you can watch this video that talks about OutSchool. And again, these are all linked in the comments too. So in North America and in most of the world, we tend to use the same social media platforms. So I want you to think about your audience and the audience that you want to have and where they might be. Again, like a single mom is going to be on different platforms than a, a mega CEO, right? So depending on you know where your audience is, that's where you're going to want to be marketing to. The most popular platform to use by far is Facebook. Uh, this is by far my favorite platform. Facebook has more than 2.91 billion users and it's the number one social media platform worldwide. Facebook is super cool because almost everyone is on Facebook. Um, almost everyone has a Facebook account. And with Facebook groups, you have the ability to create a relationship with the people within your groups. So you can start a group for you know, homeschooling parents or for English learners or whatever it might be. And there are a lot of tools that you can use inside the group to start building a relationship with your audience. By the way, Facebook group plug here, if you are looking into teaching online, you should totally be in our Facebook community, the online ESL teacher success and support group. We're currently up to 21.7 thousand members in that group and they're all online teachers. So it's a great place to be if that is something that you are looking into and you're not already there. I have a whole video on Facebook groups as well, walking you how to successfully use Facebook groups to grow. So on Facebook, you can also use like pages, reels, and ads. Ads can be a great tool for you to grow, but I would encourage you to learn how to market yourself organically. Learn some basic marketing that doesn't cost you any money before you start doing any ads on any social media platform. Because if you, if you take an ad, so if you take something and you push it out organically and it doesn't do well, there's a really good chance that you're going to pay money 
for it to not do well on a larger scale. And Facebook ads, there's a, there's a huge learning curve to it too. So I would really encourage you to focus on other Facebook strategies before you dive into ads. So over in the metaverse is also Instagram. I love Instagram. Uh, Instagram has 1.386 billion users right now. And with Instagram, you can use a combination of reels, stories, lives, posts, as well as messaging people. These can all help your grow your online business. You can use a combination of reels, stories, lives, posts, messaging in order to help grow your online teaching business. And can you guess the next one? You should be able to because you're on it right now. And that is YouTube. YouTube is an incredible tool that you can use. Almost everybody watches YouTube. I mean, I can't, I don't even have to ask you if you watch it because you're watching it right now. YouTube has more than 2.6 billion users. 2.6 billion users today. And because YouTube is also owned by Google, there is a chance that your information can be found in a Google search as well. So YouTube works like a giant search engine. And you probably already know this. If you're looking at how to decoupage vases, you can type that in. How do I decoupage vases? And you're going to have all these tutorials showing you how to do that. If you go over to Google and you put in, how do I decoupage a vase? They're going to have all the blogs and all of the how to in text things, but they're also going to have a section there where they're pushing out YouTube content. YouTube is a huge social media platform, a huge search engine that is owned by the biggest search engine in the world. It's a great place to be. On YouTube, you could use a combination of long videos, shorts, lives, and YouTube is actually turning around. They're starting to push their shorts as of February 1st. Shorts can now be monetized. So um, that's another cool thing too. We're not gonna talk about monetization, other forms of monetization in this video. If that's something you want, let me know in the comments and I'll get that out there for you. But um, YouTube is a place where you can reach a new audience and start building a relationship and finding new students. TikTok is another one. I, I don't personally use TikTok that much, um, but a lot of business owners have had amazing success using TikTok to market their services. And it's just, you know, you know what a TikTok video is. It's like a short or a reel. TikTok has over 1 billion users right now. If you are marketing to business professionals or people who are just graduating college and looking for jobs, or um, anything anything like that, you might want to consider using LinkedIn. LinkedIn isn't just for finding jobs anymore and a lot more business professionals are hanging out there and networking with each other than ever before. And they have about 900 million people that are using LinkedIn. And going back into marketing your classes in China, a lot of people in China will go to LinkedIn or Facebook with a VPN to try to find English teachers. And you might not think of this one as a social media platform, but Pinterest actually is. So you can get your content shared and pinned. And Pinterest is a lot different than it used to be. You can create like TikTok style videos on there. I don't personally use Pinterest, but about 445 million people are using Pinterest. So the numbers are a lot lower, but it is someplace that if you created like a blog post, you could put it there. If you created a TikTok video, you could put it there. If you created a YouTube, you could put it there. So you could just reshare your content there and have it pinned and have it shared organically. And if you like to talk, you might consider doing a podcast. The benefit of doing a podcast is that you can record yourself doing the podcast. So like this right here could be a podcast and I just take the audio from this and put it on the podcast. And then it it's kind of like a double whammy. So I can do YouTube and podcasting at the exact same time. Podcasts are growing. A lot of people use podcasts. Uh, there are about 424 million people that listen to podcasts and that number keeps growing. Another app that you can advertise on, and this is great for teaching English or other languages, is the Clubhouse app. And the reason it's so good is because it's literally a talking app. It is a group chat room, a voice group chat room. So this app isn't as popular. It has about 10 million weekly users. The majority of the users are coming from the Asian Pacific area. But Clubhouse is an app that allows you to, you have these audio chat rooms. So you can open up a, a practice English audio chat room and people can go on there and find you and just like 
you know, have a chat about, you know, whatever it is and practice their English. This is a great way for you to become known in your area of expertise, whatever it might be. If you are marketing to the South Korean area, they use a lot of the same apps and social medias that we do over here, but they have a few other apps that they like to use and those are Kaukau, Kaukau Talk and Kaukau Story. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but Kaukau Talk is a messaging app, but unlike WeChat, you can actually use it. You can search for group chats, you can create your own group chat, and you can build connections through the message rooms. And they also have this really cool thing where um, you can create like a live so everybody can come in and join. And it's it's kind of like Clubhouse where everybody can talk. It's like a it's set up just like Clubhouse. Kauko story is kind of like Instagram. So you can post like videos and pictures and whatnot. So Kauko has about 50 million users and the majority of them are in South Korea. Obviously, I did not include every single social media in the world, but these are some of my favorite ones that I have personally used at one point or another so I can speak on them. Please don't think and actually <laughs> not just don't, please do not go and create a marketing plan for every single one of these. Do not go and join every single one of these. You're going to wear yourself out and it's just not going to be effective. So start small, so maybe two or three of them. Repurpose your content for each one, each platform to save time. So if you're on like Instagram and you're on YouTube, you might want to create the same uh, short and real, right? So the same short video, one you put on Instagram, one you put on YouTube, and you redirect them back to your Facebook page. Or if you're doing, um, if you're doing Chinese social media marketing, then you might want to do WeChat and Little Bread Book but pick what works for you and for where your people are hanging out. Wherever your ideal students are hanging out or their parents, if they're kids, then that's where you should focus on advertising for your classes. After watching this video, which ones sound like ones that you wanna try? Leave me a comment and let me know. For those of you who are brand new teachers or you, you feel stuck, there is a free training that is happening right now that is going over how to get started in your own teaching business. So the link for that is in the description box. Make sure you sign up for it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. This helps my channel grow and your support means the world to me. And I will see you all over in this playlist here. Nothing can break me.